Hello, it's me, your chiming in delightful old Uncle Rat Bastard, and, as many of you know, the proprietor of Solitaire Rose Enterprises, part of which is Crazy Comics and Stories. Another part is Solitaire Rose Radio, and starting now, the Solitaire Rose Novel Cast. Head on over to novels.solitairerose.com and check out my new podcast. It's called Solitaire Rose Novel Cast, where I do audio versions of novels that I've written, and then when they're done, I will release an audio book which has all of the audio files condensed into one, as well as an ebook over on Amazon. I'm very proud of it. And I really hope that you that you um, subscribe, that you enjoy it, and that you tell everyone you've ever met in your whole entire life that they need to listen to it. Now, most of the people who listen to this podcast know that when it comes to the Solitaire Rose Radio Network, we believe in dignity. The dignity of our hosts, the dignity of our guests, the dignity of the topics that we cover. However, this is the uh, annual FallCon episode where we have uh, Joe Crazy Writer, regular supporting star Jen Wicked, friend of the show Dangerous Dan Moore, our pal Butch, and, and me. I have to apologize for the train wreck that is to come. I, I, I had absolutely no control over what was going on. It, 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 I, it, alcohol wasn't consumed. Puppets were involved. All decorum was lost. It was chaos, people. It was mass chaos! I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry as I bring you the latest episode of Crazy Comics and Stories, episode 209, the Falcon 2015 episode. We're still recording. Are we? Yes, but I can't hear Joe. I can't hear Joe either. All I like hear so, is a bunch of noise. No, this is perfect. We can't hear Joe. Let's continue. <laughs> Actually, had no, I have to hear Joe. I had a question for him. I can't remember what it was, but I had a question for him. <laughs> Joe, if you are there, we cannot hear you. Turn your microphone on. Hello? Ah. Okay, quit acting casual and talk. <laughs> oh. oh, there we there go. We, damn, we are busted. <laughs> We're just reading just, comic books. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure everybody's here. Uh, define here. I'm here. On the line. Oh. I walk the line. I uh, walk the line. Yeah, Jen can't uh, walk the line at the moment. Hey, I just want to start off by saying we've been lying to our listeners. Why? Well, the thing is, is that the the one day wonder isn't 420 minutes of extreme comic book action. 480. Yes, they're staying open till 6 p.m. So it'll be 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Should we be really like waiting until they actually start the show to say that, Joe? And they've been lying the entire time. I feel terrible. That's why I, mean, I, I don't want to say anything. Can we start else, over? I need to read. Else we lead our two listeners astray. Hey, we got more people Wait. on the podcast. We do the listening. Yeah, I know. Great. That's true. Butch. Hi, everybody. Hello. You mean I have to put up with humanity? Jim Wicked. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I may be hiding in the back. Can we have a five, formal three. start, please? What the oh, hell did crap. you do to the moon last night, Jen? I didn't do shit. Oh, we're doing freaking and geeking already? Oh, okay. No. Let me tell you, that moon was freaky scary. <laughs> oh, my God. He's just going to start with all this shit, and it's going to be terrible. No, I'll fix it in post. Whatever. <laughs> just like Ed Wood used to do for his movies. Oh, leave it to Clay to bring up his wood. 
Will you start, we'll please? We started. I, I have No, been. I want you to say the start. All right, all right. Dan, that's one. That's one. I got it. <laughs> one what? Nothing. Hello and welcome. <laughs> Corey? Hello and welcome Corey. once. Corey? Did you start yes. the thing off? What? Say it once again. Shut Wait, up. Damn. All right, all right. <laughs> Is this where I plug Falcon? <laughs> And now you see why I'm going to fix it in post. Oh, oh hell no. no. Just start with that. Let's go. The 30-second show. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lobo would walk into walls. Hello and welcome once again Corey? to Crazy Comics. Yes. Can I plug Falcon now? Are you, are you going to start this? Or I like that one. Sit? That one's good. Keep it. We're going to just sit here and, and wait for you to talk. <laughs> Dan. Dan, you there? Ask Corey yeah. when he's going to start the show. He wants I'm to start the show? Mac and cheese if we ain't starting the show pretty soon. Hi, Butch. Oh. Hi. I miss you. All right. I what get, am I gonna get it. Let's get together. Get on. My TV doesn't work. <gasps> Why? I don't know. Did you get to watch the Muppets? No. Oh, Muppets? I know. Are you going to be just... at Falcon? The so show is your cue. Falcon. I said oh, it. Oh, Falcon. It's actually called Fall Comic Con. Put on by the Midwest Comic Book Association. Joe, the one Joe, day Joe, wonder Joe, Joe, now, Joe, Joe, 480 Joe. minutes of extreme comic book action. They've actually expanded it an entire hour. Holy so they'll be God. open 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. October 10th, 2015. Over 100 guest creators, including two of them we got on uh, on this here podcast today. Woo! A huge variety of comics and collectible dealers. Admission is $8 per person, $1 off with food shelf donations. Ages 9 or under are free. And if you go to www.mcbacomiccons.com, you get all the information as to who's coming, the dealers, and also I believe advanced tickets are on sale. Hmm. Okay, that's one. I'll plug it at least three or four more times. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I got a card plug in the what? mail from the guys. Because if you bring the card, if you're on their mailing list and you got the card, you bring the card to the show and you can use it to enter the free door prize drawing. I could use another door. Because mm-hmm. you keep walking through them. Why don't you knock first? Hey, Joe. I can't see. I have a question for you, Joe. If yes. I bring in, a, if I bring in a, a donation, do I get money back? No. You get oh. charged double. Damn it. Oh, how is he going to pay that? He has to pay they for don't the charge, puppet. They don't charge for dealer tickets. That's the beauty. <laughs> wait, I don't get in for free? That's Wait, I, I, I'm, I'm the actual artist. I don't understand. Yeah. Wolfie's a different kind of dealer. Yeah, I need really. a puppet. I'll bring Sacco. I will, I will deal you whatever you want, sweetie. <laughs> Did Wolfie watch the Muppets? Don't talk with your hands full. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm, I, whenever I'm talking to her, my hands are full. I yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I, I have my hey, yeah. you're, gonna have to, you're gonna have to use my ending music at the end of this one too. <laughs> hey, check this out. They have a silent auction to raise funds for the second annual Dominic Postiglione scholarship si- silent auction. Good thing they put auction in there twice, in case you didn't know. So you come to Fall Comic Con and you bid on this and many other items, and we're looking at. A very nice Swamp Thing cover. That's got to be a remake if that's an original. That's from W.C. Sarini Karani. How do you say his name, Corey? He'll be at the show. Huh? What? Well, uh, huh? huh? Yeah. I don't know what you people are looking that's at. Corey Strode. I went I'm just the along for the ride. Association's Facebook page. Ah. It refers you to the mcbacomiccons.com. To find out all about the silent auction. If there's one thing I love, it's a silent auction. I got an email from them the other day, and it had, like, images and stuff in it, and I saw a link to your podcast, or this podcast, and I thought, that's great. I just badmouthed them last week. That's okay. (laughs) (laughs) Guys, get your shit together. (laughs) You bet. You've already uh, bad them me. this week. What's your? I know. Oh, by the way, there's free parking and a free picnic area at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds. So, Ooh, are we having a picnic? You can. We are now. What are we going to be doing when we're there, Strode? Picnicking. Yeah. Is Joe going? 
Ah, uh, we don't know yet. We'll do that when we get to freaking. We will be recording tons of audio. Well, we're going to record at least 480 minutes of it. Spectacular. Oh, no. I, I can't talk that long. Just yeah. by, by noon, I'll be hiding somewhere. See, the key is is you're going to have to talk. To, you're going to have a lot of people there. We'll have, like, you know, Gruber will be there. It'll be the first time we'll get him on a podcast. Dan Wiesemeyer will probably be there, one of the original guys at Hot Comics. Hopefully, Jess is coming, the guy who not only gave this show its namesake indirectly, plus all the dealers. Who knows? Strode might. This might be the breakout podcast Strode has been hoping for. Yeah, we might actually be become uh, something somebody knows. We might go up to, to 12 Three listeners. listeners. Uh, 12. 12. Wow. Yeah, we used to have... We used to have 14 until you pissed them off. It's yes. getting pretty old dragging all you freeloaders around on my coattails. <laughs> Get a bigger coattail. You should see the size of Butch. <laughs> Butch is my best friend. Don't bad mouth Butch. You're everybody's exactly. best friend. Did you hear? You didn't hear the last podcast. We I did. We dubbed you everybody's best friend. Oh, Wait, what? Best. I did. I was there. I don't remember that. I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> That's because you weren't listening to uh, you weren't listening to anything Joe said, which you know you pretty much par for the course. Oh, I listened to the middle part later. I liked all the parts where you talked to me and I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a story of my life, ladies and gentlemen. I'm talking to people who aren't. Aren't there. you going to ask me what I ate for dinner? What did you eat for dinner? Vodka and cocoa krispies. Bless him. <laughs> You want to know what I wish I ate for dinner? What? Oh. <laughs> what all f- right, <laughs> all right. I got enough bacon, I tell you that. <laughs> you know, we need a oh, yes. we need a little decorum, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no, no, I'll give you a, I'll give you a big decorum. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Does it matter? <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the context is frightening. I'll give you a Hey, Jen Wicked's going. She's got a website. Let's check it I out. I am. Sweet. Ooh. I like is the there sarcasm. stuff on the website? Is, is Butch going to come sit at my table with me? Oh, yeah. I'm going to need to do some sitting. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Top hat, <laughs> Xanax vodka cocktail, and a tiny cigar. Tender yeah. heart. Sure. I draw Why shit. Are you reading my Twitter? Oh, hard, wait, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> That's also the story of my life, ladies and gentlemen. That'll be the name of my autobiography. Don't touch me, the Corey Strode story. <laughs> you should sell shirts. <laughs> Don't touch me. Corey, Corey you, you, can, yes. you can touch me. No, yeah. no, yeah. There, will, there will be no touching. No, it's good, it's good. No. Yes. No, it's not. Yes. I'm a furry and fuzzy and uh, uh, yeah. So am I, and that's why I don't like touching things. It'll be perfect. We'll be stuck together forever. I want to do a I, funny I, voice. I don't know. Okay, I, I think I need to go drink now. Wait, that's Jim's thing. You, you, you can't horn in in her racket. What do you mean I can't horn in her racket? Isn't that up to her? He's just a puppet. I am my own being. Armless. Armless? No, I have two arms. <laughs> Where did Corey go? I don't know. <clears throat> He's probably weeping bitterly in his root beer. Connecting on the floor for five minutes? Connipting. First time something wants to touch me since the Carter administration and it's a fucking puppet. What's the Carter administration? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you didn't watch Carter Country. <laughs> what are we supposed to be talking hey, Dan about? Dan Moore's got a website. Let's check it out. Uh-oh. See, you can find out all this. You can Uh-oh. find out all this stuff from the MCBA's website. Everydaygods.com. They linked to my Twitter. Like my website is just my name.com. How do you fuck that up? But you tw- you can link from your Twitter to your uh regular page which is cool Well, i understand that but everybody else's links go to their web page and mine goes to my twitter and i don't even know i guess they got that picture off of my facebook oh, there's wolfie hey yeah. you're looking pretty good on online wolfie uh, i don't know he's Look not wearing you. any clothes 
Just a warning to the kids. He's not wearing any clothes. But he did he did draw him above the waistline. I need a puppet voice. Oh. Well, you know, I, I, I'm just wonderful that way, and, <laughs> and the internet would actually take me down if I did it from the waist down. Let's see. Because <laughs> I would block all form. the lanes. Has lived his entire life in Minnesota and has been drawing and writing comics for over 20 years. His mom says he's great. He has drawn and written multiple web comics and comics in print. Some of the more recent being Everyday Gods, Worldwide Nudes, and Life is a Natural One. In addition Worldwide to the comics, nudes. Daniel is also known for his <laughs> tattoo designs, artwork, theater acting, script writing, and having his hand up a puppet's ass. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. So if you go to their website, you can check out. You could theoretically contact one of the artists, and maybe they'll do a commission for you, I, have it ready for you by the time you're at the con. I know you're I, not. I don't do commissions. You don't do commissions? No. Why not? I know. It's so hard when people hand money to you. Do this for me. No. I, I have. You school. can't tell me what to do. <laughs> I can't yeah, tell you. Yeah, even if it do. is for money. Look, I can tell you what to do. You don't necessarily have to do it, but I can tell you. Set up, puppet. No. Are we are we actually no. listening to an argument between a puppet and Puppet Jim? wars. Yeah. Hey, I did everybody have a happy Batman up. day? No. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna just keep talking. I don't care. It's not even my podcast, but I'm gonna How's take it over. That? So from now on, it's my podcast because that, I'm just awesome. Whoa. I'd work well, good. Then I don't have to do anything for the next I, oh. hour and a half. Gauntlet <laughs> Throne. Yeah. Same Dan's of course, you know what? huge. No wonder his puppet's cranky. It, it's not gonna ma- it's not gonna matter anyway because he's gonna automatically win because my computer says it's gonna restart in ten minutes and it won't let me stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I can confirm Pat Gruber is not going to have a table at Fall Comic Con. Doesn't Who even- is that? <sighs> he has been going out of business for what, ten years? 20. And oh, I think 20. the last con he finally did it. Sold everything he had. Until he gets more. Or until his girlfriend says to get rid of more. Oh, good. Everyone's typing. That That's great radio. Oh, no, I can't, I can't type. I can't type. I, I was can stereotype the hell out of things. heavily artifacted picture of the puppet. Where you go? On Skype. Now, now I'm reading Facebook. <laughs> Would you stop posting shit from Alton Brown? Christ! Let's see. Just run off and Arkham marry Carnival Alton Brown. Will be at the Comic Con. Gasp! They're proud to be part of the MCB and celebrate the world of comics with your family. You can stop by for Batman-inspired carnival games, free popcorn and treats, handmade comic art, and photo ops with costume characters. Slightly. I, I the Foundation will be there. That's one of the two charities the con works with. Mm-hmm. Crypticon will be there, Minnesota's mm-hmm. number one horror convention. Their con's October 23rd, 24th, and 25th. I'm just going to drink straight from the bottle, all right? Actually, Jen, <laughs> what you can do after the con is you can go to the Fear and Beer Night because Crypticon is going to be at Summit Brewery's Tap Room where you can go from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. and enjoy beer, trivia, and uh, win cool prizes. I don't like beer. Yeah, but it's a tap room. What else are you going to do? They'll be doing Go that somewhere uh, else? right after the con. <laughs> Just look for the scary clown. Oh, that's always good. You got me drunk after the con in May. Isn't that enough? Wait, no. does, is, is Corey going to be enough. a clown? She's a mean, sobered person. I'm always a clown. I'm the happiest drunk, though. This is true. I think she's been the happiest when she's We can drunk. go see Denise Crosby's court at Crypticon. But if you go to the fall Comic Con, you can get all the information from the guys in person. A purse? Probably made out of something. Mm-hmm. I don't want to know what. Yeah. I saw Captain Spaulding on there. I'm just going to drunk post on Facebook from now on. It gets more feedback. Tollcon will be there. Okay. It's a new Middle Earth themed convention in Minnesota. And they're going to have all their information there. They're going to be at Fallcon? Yeah. 
See, that's one thing. So we've got conventions at conventions. They're pretty cool. Conventions all the way down. Conventions, as long as you're willing to, you know, scratch their back. Like, we got this one coming up Saturday, November 7th, out in Bloomington, VFW. ComicCard.net. Eric Larson's going to be there. Unbelievable. So is Sergeant Slaughter, man. My good buddy. Yeah. (laughs) So they'll be there advertising. Hey, here we are. Crazy comics and stories. You guys will be there? We're going to be there. As many years ago, both Corey Strode and Joel Crazy Rider worked in comic book retail. These are their stories. Listen, if you dare. Wait, wait. You, we're a Listen If You Dare podcast? Apparently, it, it links to our Stitcher. I, oh, well, I you know, that's Stitcher. okay. Stitcher tuned in, iTunes. I don't care how people listen. They can listen via the YouTubes. They, the, I, Butch listens on his Commodore 128. Yep. Oh, you're still work, Corey. You're hey, just working. now I turned and listened to the microphone when you started talking. And that didn't really work. That's <laughs> what I know. Well, you have to listen real close. He has the best voice. Huzzah! No, that's the hundred. Thank you so much. First Legion, the central garrison of the hundred. First Legion, an all-volunteer organization that digs Star Wars. They're going to be there. You know there's going to be a new Star Wars movie this fall? What? I know. What happened to the old one? I, they're actually remixing them and they're putting them out, putting them into their original oh. format where Han Solo shot first. I like a remix. Out on Blu-ray. What's that now? I don't know. Some fancy thing. Isn't that a guy who ran for mayor? Corey, do they have the Blu-ray for the Commodore 64? Commodore 1... What, what was I listening Huh? Commodore 128. I don't know if they have a Blu-ray drive for that yet. You better not cook me this pot roast. I don't cook anything for you anymore because all you do is complain. Minnesota Superheroes United will be there. They're all the guys who do the uh, superhero and villain characters. So that'll be a lot of fun. tomato in pot roast? (laughs) It's for the... uh, A vegetarian? All right! Can we talk about the convention for the love of God? I can't eat Raquel. Twin Cities-based Star Trek Club and Klingon Worship Group. They will be at the uh, MCBA. We're going to have oh, a Klingon they, Worship? Can they, they get will. some I'm of the in... State Fair food people at the convention? Why, yes, we will. Pepper boy. We will have two of the food trucks there. Which ones? The Char Grill, and I don't know what the other one is. I just know the Char Grill because they have cheese skirts. Encore Software will be there. Encore Software? Yeah, formed in 2012 by a gathering team of talented developers from around Siberia. <laughs> so you'll find their software. table. They actually got their website. We could check it out. But I'd rather go check out the Minnesota Society of Costumers. Sci-fi, fantasy, historical anime, they like it all. All those guys will be there in addition to the, all the creators and vendors. What are some of the creators who will be there, Joe? Other than, you know, the, the people on the podcast. Oh, we, one of them we mentioned are... Graciously give us their I don't time. know why he names himself <laughs> Corey, but good thing he's called WC... Wait, Are don't listen Karen? to Corey. I am not here graciously. He's blackmailing me. Someone save Karani. me. Car ain't me. <laughs> yeah. He's made comics for DC, Marvel, Wildstorm, and other small publishers. His current project yeah, is... Because DC publishers. and Marvel are small publishers. Yeah, and other small publishers. Pat Gleason will be there. He Pat makes, Gleason. Yeah, creates fantastic characters uh, in the worlds they inhabit. He's done Green Lantern Corps. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. Right now, he's uh, lending his artistic vision and work to the dynamic duo of Batman and Robin. Dan Jurgens, I remember him back Dan in a comic store Jurgens, a long time ago. Did, what a hack. He's done something. I don't know. I've heard the name. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure if we look, it'll be probably some Marvel, DC more things like that we don't know he sounds like a guy who did a, to kill a major icon you know I think what I'm he saying? did a batman annual doug mankey i mean are you doug mankey no 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 he used to do uh jla justice league elite superman man of steel black adam the dark age currently uh shares a studio with pat gleason so maybe pat can tell us what doug's been doing okay you know when you're bringing up these artists could you name some things that i've heard of Gordon Purcell, Star Never heard Trek, of Action Comics. X Files, <laughs> I don't know, read Comedy, comics Avengers. Yeah, this guy's a hack. <laughs> He's done classic horror movies, pro wrestling, and face melting metal. To his crazy Jim's done horror comics? Illustrations face with a retro melting? film. You've done face melting? 
<laughs> Corey, you ever read Marvel 2 in 1? Why, of course I have. And, like, and um, I, I, I always pass over the fact that, boy, that's a dirty title. No, that was the artist. <laughs> We're talking Ron, Ron. about the artist, Ron Wilson. He joined Marvel in 1973 and has done, I don't know, you name it, he's done it. Black Goliath, Power Man, Hulk, Captain Britain, Masters of the Universe, Wolfpack, Avengers. Should Marvel 2 and 1? Marvel and uh, What If. The Thing. He's also done Super boxers. sketch cards for the complete event. Super Boxers? Yes. Got it. I'm going to have to get my Super Boxers graphic novel signed. And that's just what page one. What a dirty one. title that is. That's just page one of the MCBA guest creators. The next page has everybody else. <gasps> Tons of people. Whoa. Oodles of people. Plethoras of people. Is plethora a word that you can make into a plural? Plethorem. Plethorai. Now I want to buy me some comic books. Let's see who's going to be here. Cedar Cliff Collectibles from Iowa. The College of Comic Book Knowledge. We got to send Jen there. She needs a little knowledge. A comic book knowledge. Granite City. Our buddies up in Saint Cloud. Captain Jacks out of Bloomington. Shinders out of. Right idea. Oh, Shinders. They went out of business. Oh. Yeah. Krypton Comics, Nostalgia Zone, The Source, Comics and Games. Mr. Zero. Have you ever been to Mr. Zero? Uh, not for a few years, but I know. Oh, it kind of reminds me of my old shop on, like, Acid or yeah. something. It's yeah. crazy. Butch, we should go get pizza again. Let's roll. <laughs> this is me walking up the stairs. Hey, there he goes. Hey, watch out for that. Don't run along the trenches. I know where Joe people. lives now. Son of a... I can't drive anywhere. Oh, my God. Look at that ugly face. Hey, did you... So, you go to the About Us, and there you got Kelly, Big Mike, and Mike with the hat. The guy in the hat. And you know what happened with Mike in the hat? What? He just signed to become a male model. Honest engine. Tell me more. Well, let's just say you could go get an autograph for him now for nothing mm -hmm. before he becomes rich and famous and really stuck up. Who? Uh, <laughs> one of the three big guys running the MCBA. Oh, and that's another guy we could get. We could get uh, Big Mike to come over. Yeah, Maybe absolutely. he can shed some light on how the hell he got involved with my comic story. <laughs> Lord knows I don't know. Cost a fortune story. to feed him, I'm telling you. So to recap. <clears throat> Since nobody else Thank God, it. because I'm confused. I, October 10th, 2015, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Minnesota State Fairground Education Building. You get a dollar off admission with a non-perishable food shelf donation at the door. Tons of free parking, although be careful because at the fairgrounds, they will enforce not only traffic laws, but parking laws. So, uh, And you know there's going to be other stuff going on at the fair. Smokey Joe's will once again have their outstanding... Board of Fair for Fall Comic Con attendees right outside the Education Building. ATMs, That's the Char Grill. ATMs will be available. Uh, they do have a code of contact. Code of contact, everyone. Yeah. No, I'm no sorry. No touching. I got a sm I got a <laughs> smudge on my screen. Oh, yeah, clean that. Code of conduct. No. Conduct. Yeah. I'm out. Quack. Oh, wait a minute. That's not a K. It's a T. Oh. Yes. Hey so, puppet, the puppet. And believe planet. me, if you wanna if you wanna see the bad side of Butch and Mike the Human Planet, break it the code of conduct. That's right. Uh, they will enforce a costume weapons policy. No functional weapons at Fall Comic Con. I'm so out. Jen, keep your umbrella so leave at home. your lightsabers at home. No, everyone. I want Jen to keep her Wolfie. umbrella at home. That's what I'm worried about. There is no personal paging, so don't ask. No pets allowed. Uh, they will allow service animals. No Wolfie. smoking in the convention area. Wolfie. Wolfie's gone. Yep, Dan is having to reboot. He was not joking about his computer yeah. going to Well, good. While, while he's Where gone, Commodore. here are some things you should bring. Comfortable shoes. Money. I have to wear shoes? I just came from the story. <laughs> yep. Bigfoot and Wild Boy will be there. Sandals don't cut it. <laughs> The concrete floor of the education building has lasted over 100 years. It's going to outlast your feet and back. Speaking of back, bring a backpack or bag. Money. They're not doing grab bags this year. 
<gasps> so you won't have any bag to uh, be stuffing in uh, your your well well gotten booty or. So the, hey, well, hey, hey, no more talking about stuffing and booty. For the guys who won't all have uh, tendonitis from stuffing bags. Cash. Some may take credit cards, some may take checks, but cash is king. Everybody likes cash. I take cash, credit, and booze. Yes, booze. and we, as we talked about last one, you gotta since there's no booze allowed on the fairgrounds that they didn't sell, Ooh. be sneaky about it. Okay. Remember, yes. it's only illegal if you're caught. Lists. Are Illegally, you... nothing but a sick bird. Lists. Oh. <laughs> and Al Capone's. There you are, panning for gold among the long boxes when you happen ac across a cherry mint copy of that book. But didn't you buy a copy last year? Or was that the issue before? This so bring your want list to avoid such anxiety, anxietist misadventures. Anxietous. Thanks I mean, a lot. Let me tell you, there's a reason I... Is that a real word? Uh, 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 Oh. I thought I had it there, but I didn't. No, Corey's got all He's got a puke! He's got a puke! Yeah. Sketchbooks and pens! Like hey, I didn't know she would be here! Why didn't mate. I bring my sketchbook? <laughs> Your portfolio. Are you an artist? Jin will be happy not to look at it. <laughs> I certainly won't. Food and water. Again, though, you buy it out front, but uh, bring your own. You'll keep that reactor fuel. Dress in layers. Yes, it's October in Minnesota. Will it rain? Maybe. Snow? Probably. Tornado? It's happened. Mm -hmm. Will it be tropical jungle heat and humidity? <laughs> we all remember the SweatCon 2007. Rides me of home. <laughs> Camera. We will pay cold cash for turtle? intimate copies of anything you get from Jin. No, a uh, camera? I believe Wait, in what? Craters, cosplay, art show displays, pop propertorium. The Lego displays, there's so much to take pictures of, but please be courteous and ask permission before snapping away. Especially you guys when those, you know, female cosplays do, walk by. Do I have to ask the tornado? No. Can I get your picture? Sure. How about the human tornado? Friends. Oh, yes, the Texas tornado. Don't keep all the fun to yourself. Tell yes. your friends. Tell them you know this this hot, spunky girl from Texas named Jen, and you will introduce you to her. Woo, doggy! You don't know the definition of indifference until you've met Jen. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put that as like a byline on my website or something. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta. You read that right off the site. You know, while Jen's laughing, this is a good time to mention the Midwest Comic Book Association presents Fall Comic Con. Oh, is that coming up? It is oh, October tenth, two thousand fifteen, ten a.m. to six p.m. Hundred plus. Guest creators, a huge variety of comics and collectibles, no. and they've expanded in an extra hour. So you expanded. have 480 minutes of extreme comic book action. Eight dollars. So I have another hour to hide in the bathroom from human contact. One dollar off with a food shelf donation, age nine and under, free, and go to www.mcbacomiccons.com where you can buy advanced tickets now. Corey, do. Boy, it sounds, you know, I've been mentioning this so long, it sounds yeah. like we might even have a, like, don't we have a, uh, what do we call it, sponsor for this year podcast? Why, yes, we do, and here they are. These guys. This podcast, and all the other podcasts that we have on the Solitaire Rose Network, has sponsors, and our sponsors are, first, as always, our beloved DreamHost.com. DreamHost.com is the best web host in the whole known universe. You need a website. Come on. You know you need a website. If you're going to set up a store, if you're going to start writing, if you're going to start drawing, if you're going to start creating, if you're going to start selling, you need a website. So go to dreamhost.com, use the code CRAZY, and get $20 off your first year. We have a new sponsor. That sponsor is Flaviar. F-L-A-V-I-A-R. Just go to the Solitaire Rose podcast website at crazycomics.solitairerose.com where we're inviting you to join. It's a discovery service for spirits aficionados. You gain access to fine spirits at members only prices. And if you use our link, you get a $10 credit when you join. Finally, if you're listening to this podcast, you are a good looking person. And as a good looking person, you cannot trust your skin to just any old razor. That's why we invite you to shave with the amazing razors from Dollar Shave Club. Every month, they send a box with your shave options. At the beginning of the week, 
pop in a fresh blade, get that fresh blade shave. It feels fantastic. It's just one of the many ways that I maintain my good looks and you can maintain your good looks. So join us at the Dollar Shave Club. Their plans start at $3 a month and they have a money back guarantee. So if you want to join, just go to www.dollarshaveclub.com slash crazy. We love feedback. So if you'd like to give us feedback, you can send us an email at corey.strode at gmail.com or you can call our voice line at 952-856-0519. Send us an email, drop us a message. We'll put you on the air. We'll answer your question. We love to interact with our fans. We've also got Facebook pages for the Solitaire Rose podcast, for the Crazy Comics and Stories podcast, and the upcoming Solitaire Rose novel cast. So go to Facebook, be our friend. We love friends. If you would like to advertise on Crazy Comics and Stories, Solitaire Rose Radio, or the upcoming Solitaire Rose novel cast, you can just send an email to corey.strode at gmail.com. Subject advertising. Thanks. <laughs> is this start, is this a good time for me to mention uh, Hello Paul? and welcome once again. Hello, welcome. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh. oh, I got just oh. I just been handed a script here. How do you it upside down? The Midwest Comic Book Association presents Fall Comic Con, no. October 10th, 2015. Again? 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds. Still? Be there. I wonder Aloha. We should go to their website and see who's going to be there. Corey will edit one of those in. Yeah, probably. How many times did I do it last time? <laughs> and there's only one con. I feel obliged only one. because they actually put us in their emails and, uh, you know, on their web page. Oh, yeah. Blink. Somebody's beeping. Yeah. It's not me. There can be but one. <laughs> you don't know the meaning of indifference. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't told it. I hope that goes viral. I have, I have yet to go viral. I want that's one on my bucket list. Oh, I was afraid I was going to catch a viral from you all. Somebody else. That's, that's true. It, about there me. has been known the Comic Con crud always seemed to hit us right about this oh. time of year. So, like Corey says, always bring along some hand sanitizer. Okay. Abuse and what I like to do sanitizer. is bring along some raw beef. Okay. The night before, yeah. so when I'm sitting there digging through them comic boxes and someone gets too close. <laughs> Just lay down a protective aura, and I got that whole table for myself. Raw beef, that's your secret. Well, that's my secret for other people, because then they get sick and they don't go. Okay, yeah, yeah, good point. Me, just uh, corned beef and cabbage. Then you got the quarter boxes to yourself. Oh, damn straight. Why is it whenever I, you know, disappear for a little bit and come back in, we're talking about Joe's gas? (laughs) Because we're always talking about about Joe's gas. You're talking about what? Oh, raw beef. <laughs> Robbie? That is not what I thought she said. Okay. <laughs> what did you think I said? <laughs> <clears throat> well, it we sounds like you've whole... been doing a little, uh, some things a little too much. Let me put it that way. All right, all right. I'm Five. Different. <laughs> Corey, are you good enough to edit this on the fly now, or do you still have to go back afterwards? And I think cut? it's perfect just the way it is. True. Uh, Hey, look, you know what I love is for the vendor picture on the MCBA's website, they got Pat. Oh, I know. I love Because he's not there this time, Rob. <laughs> well, you know, you had your chance. I have no idea what I'm doing. 75 chances. You have no idea what you're what? I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think I'm getting better at it. <laughs> Good to know. Good so to you me. won't be as raw? Beef. I can't believe Kelly is going to deck Big Mike with the... Uh, Infinity God. Well, he is a human planet. Yeah. So, Dan? Yeah? What kind of stuff <laughs> are you bringing to sell at the convention? He said, knowing that this is a nightmare about to get worse. <laughs> Smut. <clears throat> <laughs> well, I will be bringing books, I will be bringing uh, trading cards, and I will be willing to do... Uh, Commissions like and I, I'm half puppet. I know. <laughs> okay, fine. I will also be doing so many things there, <clears throat> but I will have those th- uh, things. I will unfortunately not have our book there because somebody finally got me their um, uh, their uh, um, 
commentary, and it's a 30-day turnaround in order to print it. (laughs) You're lucky you got it this year, Pepper Boy. I was looking through, and I couldn't remember. Who the hell is Sarah Palin? (laughs) And why did I make jokes about her? I did like the fact that you're starting to notice things in the background of the drawings you didn't know were there before. (laughs) (laughs) And I will also be selling... Like, I pay attention to anything I do. I know. You've listened to the podcast. <laughs> Slipshot is our trademark. And for those of you out there listening, I will be also selling Corey. Well, good news. Yeah, because you need to raise 14 cents. Yeah, it's, it's a very important point. Monday nights nice back yeah. without podcasting all the time. We could be watching Raw. Oh, not my, not here. I don't Beep. have cable. Oh. I already hey, have watched Raw. Oh, Sorry. Hey, Fabe. She knows what that means now. I know what that means now. <laughs> I told you she could use a thesaurus. <laughs> Welcome once again. Jin, what will you be selling at the con? Shit. All right. <laughs> All right. You me By the way, for those of you... Dish. For those of you who aren't watching Raw, I'll give you the uh, Luke Harper and Braun Strowman just defeated um, the the primetime players. Okay, thanks a lot, Shivani. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You probably want to tune into that. Mick Foley's going to win the world title. You know, that's going to put butts in some seats. (laughs) Butts. Hey, we're back to Jim's shit. Stand by. I'm going to have my trunk this time. <laughs> and we're I, back to butts. I didn't have it in May. It fell off? My trunk? Please to explain the trunk of awesomeness. It's a trunk of awesome, and it's a vintage trunk that's got my stuff in it. <laughs> as well as her lunch, bottles of booze. No. A plethora of hats. No. Did, did Joe get hit by a banana truck? Joe, Butch. Did, did we Hello, and welcome once again! Welcome once again! I don't <laughs> use that voice that I'm going to the internet and wires. I'm catching up. <laughs> oh, thank God we finally started. Cray! <laughs> How you doing, Cray? <laughs> I miss I miss spring con. Can I have a do-over? Why do you want to do over? I want to do it again. Well, it's good to be another one next year. There is. Joe, that's your cue. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Joe's. It's amazing. MSP Con in sp- in the spring. I have no idea what the dates are because I don't know it as well as Joe does. However, it's two whole days of comic book awesomeness. Spring Am Con? I, doing I thought okay? that was the one day wonder. No, that's no, that's, that's, that's the one that's we're about. Fall Comic Con. Tell me more. more. Oh, it's happening October 10th, uh-huh. 2015, <laughs> 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds <laughs> Education I Building. I had no idea. Well, you, that, you go to the Education Building and you get educated. Oh, over a hundred guest creators. A hundred guest creators. I can't believe a the words huge, I'm hearing. A huge variety of comics and collectible dealers. Huge and collectible. It's going to be huge. 480 minutes of extreme minutes comic book action. Admission is 8 bucks per person, $1 off with a can of food for the food shelves. And if you're under 9, that's <clears throat> age, not feet, uh, or under, you get in free. 9-year-old food shelf donation. Got it. www.mcbacomiccons.com. Advanced tickets on sale now. You should have said something earlier. I, 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 I fumbled again. People aren't going to go because you didn't give them enough notice. Good day. Well, they'll go just to see you. Butch, I want pizza. Mm-hmm. I always, all right, I always want pizza. Let's not yes, go. I'm not going to go on and on food. about it. I'll incriminate myself in some yes. way. Always want pizza. I need to. Okay, next spring when we when really we do this strong, again, maybe. we have to do it all in the same room so we can slap each other. Uh. Oh, do the, do the... I, I am never in the same room. Put your hand down. Shut him up. <laughs> Thank you, Butch. We could all meet in Joe's basement so then no one can hear us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I never do the podcast in the same room as Joe for like the same reason that the president and vice president never fly on the same same plane. Slam? That way, if one of us is hit by a banana truck, the other one can carry on with the podcast. And if the the, the emails I get are any indication, it'll be me getting hit by the banana truck. Joe and Jen will go on, and the podcast will be more popular than ever. <laughs> That's true. A lot What's of a podcast? Where after one member dies, they go on to discover, <laughs> discover great fame. Beatles, Jim, Def Leppard, Jim Croce, Jim Morrison, the Monkees, too soon, the Archies. Oh my God! I, I'm like the shemp of this podcast at this point. Oh, wise guy. Who's shemp? Every, every time I talk, yeah. people go, "We miss Curly." <laughs> How <laughs> distant? Who's Curly? Jim Kearney? <laughs> Corey, remember you can always. Is that the guy feel, that played Ernest? You can always feel good about the fact that you will not be as hated as I am on this podcast. <laughs> Dan, what? don't break kayfabe. <laughs> Joe Best. People do not know the character that you portray. Yeah, okay. I was trying to do a puppet voice. I can't You're trying do, to do it. a puppet voice. What you saying? Pe- pe- Are you, puppet, do you have something pe- against puppets? Puppet, are you are you puppetist? Pu- puppets? <laughs> are you a puppetist? Puppetophobia is an ugly <laughs> thing, Jen. Yeah. Do you know puppets. He... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Nothing. What was that? This is what we call the puppet show. I said, "Fuck you, puppet." Please. <laughs> I don't think puppets can do that. My tail is up just thinking about it. Marion, <laughs> a really dirty episode. <laughs> what happened? What do you mean, what happened? Nope, she's right. This isn't, is, the, isn't this how it always is? No, she's very right. This is a very dirty episode. It needs to be cleaned up. Jen, come with me to the shower. <laughs> Will these two be seated together at the uh, at the convention? I think, the podcast. I think unfortunately, yes. <laughs> there won't be a lot of sitting. It'll be crazy. <laughs> won't be a lot of sitting. I told you, Wolfie's just in over his head with these rules at the convention. I know. No smoking. No baby abuse. No functional weapons. No baby abuse. <clears throat> I'm out. Don't give in to thinkers. Yeah. Well, what is it you find is baby abuse? Is it if you hit the babies or you use the babies to hit somebody with? Verbal abuse is okay, right? I mean, they're just a baby. They can't understand it anyway. What do they know? Yeah. They can't even walk. Uh, there's a lot of people. Well, you don't make jokes about who can't understand what you're saying. There are. I it's about everybody. This just in, Corey. The log lady has passed away. What? Catherine E. Coulson. Rest in peace. You can't spring that on me in the middle of a funny episode. What's she talking about? It's a Twins Peak reference. Twins Peak? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It's what happens when Dolly Parton leaves on her back. <laughs> Joel's been saving that one up for 24 years. Yes, I was waiting yeah, for Joel's been saving a die. lot for 24 years. I was waiting for Jim to go, <laughs> who's like Dolly it. Parton? <laughs> Dolly. I know who that is. Parton? She's nice. <laughs> Corey's morning. <laughs> he is. He's going to get his log. It's big. It's heavy. It's wood. It's log. It's better than bad. It's good. She goes. It's log. It's log. I started to join you, Jen, and you stopped. Jeez. I can't say. That's rare. Usually she yells at me when I say. Rolls downstairs. The loner in Paris rolls over your neighbor's dog. dog. It's log. It's log. It's better than bad. It's good. It's log. It's heavy. It's wood. It's log. It's log. (laughs) Wood. Where did Corey go? We're just going to sit here singing about Big Wood. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, happy, joy, joy. Happy, 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 joy, joy, joy. Corey's having an aneurysm right now. He's like, we had such hope for this podcast. We thought it was going to work fine. Why would you have hope for anything involving us? Well, we do have hope that 
the Midwest Comic Book Association <laughs> presents Fall Comic Con, the One Day Wonder, October 10th, 2015, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at not the Minnesota Iowa, State no, not the Texas, Texas, not the Siberian, Siberian, the Minnesota State Fairgrounds in oh, the Education Building. I am so do going. Do you have that bad. memorized, or did you write it down? 80 minutes of extreme comic book action. Watch. I'll do this with my eyes closed. Over 100 guest creators. Huge variety of collectibles and comics and their dealers. Admission oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. I just noticed Joe's Skype thing. profile is linking to his MySpace page. Ages 9 and under. <laughs> www.mcbacomiccons.com. And you can go to their uh, Facebook page, too, which is the Midwest Comic Book Association. Their event page that they did not create for Falcon. No. Somebody else did. Yes. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. I just feel sorry for the listeners. I don't know why they're complaining. They went from 420 minutes of extreme comic book action to 480 of even more extreme comic book action. Mm-hmm. And what's best, the last bit of extremeness isn't just the last bit of the show. So you don't know when when it's going to be extreme. Point. Ooh, it I got a private minutes, message. It could be seconds. It could just be <laughs> the whole damn show. Where did it go? Oh, I am on the edge of my seat. You're gonna fall over? Oh, uh, That's because no, we're gonna go get pizza. Damn it, I just fixed that divot in the floor from the last time you were over to podcast. Uh, so the question is What happened to Corey? I fell off. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, I I I I've, I've just given up. You two <laughs> something to drink. drink as creators. When you're there, do you look for anything from the dealers? I mean, are you looking at comics, at knickknacks? What type of things would you want to pick up? Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, those are, that would be fun. Is Infinity Gauntlet something you can make a plural? A boyfriend. Ooh. Boy, not boyfriends, not plural, like the Infinity Gauntlets. No. Oh. Several <laughs> indeterminate amount of Infinity Gauntlets, but only one boyfriend. I'll yeah. take girlfriends. Vodka is a necessity. Do you know how many boys are going to the comic convention looking for a girlfriend? Do you think there will be any boys there? I I don't care, but there's a very important thing is that they have to be okay with the fact I'm married. Do you think there will be any men? Mary. Where I come from, there were all boys at the comic convention. (laughs) Thousands and thousands and thousands of boys. Now, the important question now, let's ask the Strode. Ask the Strode. Ask the Strode. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Corey, how what? long... Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's a rather personal question. Do you have a funny... I have to start again. Corey, when you meander over to Fall Comic Con, the One Day Wonder, mm. October 10th, 215... <laughs> <laughs> Crap, we missed it. Oh, it's the Renaissance Festival. Yes. <laughs> We're only 2,000 years the sundown at the Minnesota State... Fairgrounds Edumacation Building. Because we need to get edumacated. 1265 oh. Snelling Avenue North, St. Paul, Minnesota, 55108. That's right, right, Paul. And what, hmm? out of the over 100 guest creators and the huge variety of comics and collectible dealers, with over 480 minutes of extreme comic book action, extreme. will you be looking for? What I look for at every convention. Hi. Crack and hookers. Well, same thing. Wrong convention. Thank you for playing, though. There'll be a. Con- That's why I never find. Always it. comes back to wrestling, though. Hey, babe. <laughs> Corey and his hookers. She's waving her finger at you. Hey, babe. Is she? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure, actually, if you go into where they're bending over to look into those uh, into those comic boxes, you'll find crack. I'm That's pretty sure if I put it with. And crack. I'm pretty sure if I see people bending over looking in comic boxes, I'm going I'm, I'm to act a lot like Joe whenever I mention Death Mate. <laughs> By the way, over on Raw, Neville has defeated Stardust with a bull after um, Barrett interfered in the match. A ferret? What? I'm just keeping people up to date on Raw. ferret? Corey, will you bring me cookies after we're done recording? <laughs> I have been told never to bring you food again. 
But will you bring me cookies after we're done recording? It's a trap. Yeah, it's a- <laughs> yes, yes, Joe, it is. <laughs> yes, I will bring cookies. Oh, <laughs> you're such a goody two shoes. <laughs> I hope Jin never figures out where I live because I'm a lot closer to her than you are. I know. I see your address right Eyes here. Eyes wide shut. <laughs> Ori the good. He was oh, I don't even know if that's accurate. I'm done by Jin Wicked. Oh. Do you live at 8.55 p.m. St. Paul? No. Wait, BM? There's a street called BM? I can't even say it without laughing. <laughs> I am so drunk. (laughs) (laughs) I've just been drinking right out of the bottle because it's more efficient. Awkward silence (laughs) ensues. Clunk. (laughs) Here's my drink. Corey, don't bring me cookies. Here's mine. You know I'm not serious, right? I, I, I've completely tapped out at this point. Me too. <clears throat> I bet when Corey woke up this morning, he was all happy. Oh, this podcast is going to be so oh, cool. She was. Yeah, right. I told him, you okay. just can't mention the MCBA's fall oh, Comic-Con, no, no, no. The, one the One Day Wonder. The One Day Wonder. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Creators, huge, huge variety mm-hmm. of comics and collectibles and dealers. 480 minutes of extreme comic book action. October 10th, 2015, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Minnesota State Fairground Education Building. $8 per person admission, $1 off food shelf, age 9 and under free. And, of course, you can go to www.mcbacomiccons.com and buy advanced tickets on sale now. On sale now. He just had no idea it was going to be this out of control. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria? I don't know the rest of that line. <laughs> and it's been the dogs and cats living together. together. Mass hysteria. I've seen shit to scare you white. Man, that smoking in the bandit was a great movie. That Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh. Smokey and the Bandit was a great movie. That was an attempt. That's the dumbest fucking thing anyone has said <laughs> on this podcast. What's a movie? In my life. Wait, we've only been going 52 minutes. If we go movie? another hour, I'm sure something else will come up. I don't have they, a freaking or a geeking. They went through all of that for Coors. You know what? I wouldn't Perfect. walk across the floor for Coors. Of course, if the good people of Coors are listening to us and want to send us a case for us to review and a little vodka for Jim, please the do so. People of it's something good for me. Stol- Stolichnea. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when she starts reading you know, breakfast food ingredients, man, you got money in the bank right there. The good people of Stolichnea hear you. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, I guess, I guess it's a good. It's a good thing that there isn't a rule saying you can't drink what you can't say. <laughs> Unfortunately, I am the only good people of Stone Lichnia. <laughs> <laughs> but he Not makes a heck of a lot. Exposes bed mites to fresh air and light, which yeah. dehydrates him, making your bed trap stale air and moisture oh. under the sheets, providing the perfect environment for bed mites to flourish. Thank what? you, Mister Know It All. What is he reading Wikipedia for? Thank you, Mr. Know-It-All. <laughs> <laughs> There's pictures of waffles on this blog, and I want a waffle so bad right now. International House of Pancakes open 24 hours a day for your waffle enjoyment. The unintentional... I can't powerful. drive to the waffles. Why? Oh, it's also I'm clear drunk. to me. Very stupid question, yes. Yeah, because of your people. Because of your people getting me drunk. No, wait, uh, wait, wait. Is there a waffle or... delivery service? There is no it's... waffle delivery. Can you just, like, play a car honking or something over there? <laughs> waffle <laughs> delivery service. No, I don't know what that's Money on people. the table, ladies wait, wait, and gentlemen. Wait, wait, wait. My neighbors must hate me. I don't know why you, like, want to make me food when I like to eat pizza from the Target food court. I have been told never to make you food again. That's right. Right. And I follow instructions. You do. Because Butch <laughs> will beat me to death with a club if I don't. Yep. 
I like Butch. Because Butch he is beats my best people friend. to death with a club. This just in, GOP candidates fiercely divided over how much voltage border wall should be electrified with. Whoopie doopie, we have fun. That was random. I, 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 was that about Freaking the and geeking. Emphasis on dumb. <laughs> Look at me, I'm hosting this shit now. Go on. Oh, it's okay. It's it, it's all yours. All you right, can, we've you can have this trade. Well, rap. boys and girls, you've been listening to us talk about funny books for about <laughs> an hour. <laughs> it's not that tough. I don't know why people sit there and say, "Oh, Corey, you're doing such a great job." <laughs> Joe, let me tell you it's something. It's time for freaking and geeking. You know, Never Wonder Woman is just... not impressed with your bondage skills. <laughs> no one. And I mean no one has ever said, Corey, I'm really impressed with your hosting skills. You're doing a good job. Ever in any context, ever. Corey, I begrudgingly tolerate your presence on this podcast. Yeah, that's pretty much a story of my life. I've been meaning to say nice things, but I forgot. I already forgot the, the last story of your life. you got a lot of stories of your lives. Yeah, don't worry. Nobody listens Sounds anyway. like a shitty soap opera. <laughs> They're all on the other podcast. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to go over there for a while. Thanks. Go read your novels. Corey's listening to another podcast. I'm just going to record another one. You guys let me know. We'll record not. another podcast. Are we started, Jim? Is this where I mentioned the MCB? Start this show <laughs> up. All Comic Con, the, no, that's the One Day Wonder, part. October 10th, 2015, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Minnesota State Fairground Education Building. www.mcbacomiccon.com Advanced tickets on sale $8 per person, $1 off with a food shelf donation If you're under 9, you get in free That's 480 minutes of extreme comic book action What are you talking about? What else do you want? He said action Don't make me repeat this again Make it sound kind of dirty Comics Comic book action Oh yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, since I'll tell you what I'm freaking about. Yes, Joe, tell us what you're freaking about. I'm still freaking not sure I would even be at Fall Comic Con, the one day wonder. <laughs> so for me, I'll have zero minutes of oh. extreme comic book action, oh. no guest creators, no variety of comics and collectibles. Admission? Who cares? <laughs> October 10th it will be just another day at work for me because I have no idea if I can get it off. For what? Oh, that, for off. Fall Comic Con, the Fall one day Comic-Con. wonder. Yeah, it's 480 minutes of extreme comic book action. Yes, it is. Yes, October 10th. Be there or, I don't know. Be there or don't, we don't care. Don't I'm know. beginning to think they bought 480 minutes of ads for on this show. Ooh, nice. <laughs> nice. This just in, a summary of Pope Francis's historic address to U.S. Congress. Stop being such dicks. Butch, why aren't you on Facebook to post sick six, six, six burns on the Facebook? Uh, <laughs> my, my Facebook name would be Get Ready for Disappointment. Aww. I'm ready, Butch. Come at me. Okay. Yeah. Good sick burn. Jin, what are you freaking on? What's got you down in the dumps? My TV don't work, and I really want to watch Mad Max. Please come buy stuff from me so I can buy a new TV. The Buy Gin a TV sale going on at Fall Comic Con. Fall Comic Con. The One Day Wonder. Mm. I have a 46 inch. Like, I mean, it's really old. We bought it like 10 years ago or something. But Matt let me take the TV, which was really nice of him because he bought like a giant 3D TV. But I guess it didn't survive the trip in the trailer or something because now, like, Somebody super cool bought me Mad Max and a machine to watch Mad Max. But but now the TV don't work to hook the Mad Max machine into. Have you and tried how shaking else it? Am I gonna, yes, I've tried shaking it. Very good. I've tried, tried dropping it. I tried glaring at it. Glaring. I tried I tried speaking to it sternly. Suplex? Um, yeah, and I tried like like mashing all the buttons. And mm-hmm. also, like, connecting different things to it. And nothing makes it work. I and I really, really 
really need to watch Mad Max. Do you understand? Do you understand? Have you seen that movie? It's a movie, right? Have you seen I, Mad Max? I don't know. I don't know what Mad Max is, but can you say really again? Really. <sighs> <laughs> Wolfie, if the women don't find you handsome, they really, should at least find really, you handy. Really, Wolfie, what are you freaking on? What's got I you down really in the dumps? Need to watch what's, freaking, what's freaking me out is I'm not in the same room as Jen. Oh, my God. I have to see what the, what her face looks like right now. <laughs> Must I be that full really moon. I really need to watch It's kind of bloody last night. Yeah. Listen to her. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it sounds like a pizza with lots of oil. <laughs> Dan, what are you freaking on? What's got you upset? <laughs> Surprisingly, I have a freaking this time, and I actually know what I was going to come in with. I'm a little late to this particular party, but have any of you seen Disney's Black Cauldron? Oh, man, when it first came yeah, out a lately. long time ago. I watched it this weekend. Good God, what the hell were they thinking? No That's musical. like widely known as like the worst Depressing. Disney movie. Oh my god! Okay, when the villain said "ocular pig," I was done. Ocular pig. Yeah, I, ocular pig. Because I know it's I've a been doing that. Can I can parse killer. that phrase. Which? How is your ocular pig? I yeah, really need it, to it, uh, watch Mad Robert. Max. I was gone. It was just like what? Ocular pig. Okay. How did you see it? Did you like get a DVD or? A... No, it was on VHS actually. Ah. I have a friend that used to work for Disney, and we've been going through a lot of the old Disney stuff, just taking a look at it and and things like that. And ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> he he told me a lot of the background for it, and it's just oh my god, <laughs> it's bad. Oh my god, and the reason they they were trying that was supposed to save them from bankruptcy. Good job, that Disney. Movie. Okay, and now for the man who's always said if he'd give up sarcasm, it would only leave interpretive dance as his only ways of communication. Butch, what are you freaking on? Oh, that damn eclipse. Who the hell is the government trying to perpetrate on I know, us it's just part of the shutdown, I think. I feel abandoned by them. Actually, didn't that make the uh, terror uh, level orange, Joe? <laughs> it did. Literally. <laughs> Blood orange. That and ocular pigs have really got oh, me down this way. <laughs> what are you freaking on, Butch? That's it. That that eclipse. Man. Well, now it's well, time for geeking. Corey, what are you, you geeking on besides the end of this here podcast? What are you geeking on, Corey? Dan? Yeah? What are you geeking on? <laughs> I'm out in Missouri. I, wait, let's go back a second. I want to hear an explanation for this. I think we can all That'll appreciate be... the fact that we're not in Missouri. Uh, Joe, there will be an explanation at a later date. Aha. Uh -huh. One of those things on the podcast that we promise and never deliver. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hopefully. There's like That's a website devoted to that. I'm going to start at one of these days. <laughs> really? No, I got better things to do with my time. Besides, I, I'm not the one hosting anymore. Someone pass it to Dan. Dan, what are you geeking on? Oh, what I'm geeking on? Joe, you should be geeking on this, too. Transformers Devastation. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Well, new video one. game. Get around I'm Transformers. Out. Transformers. Oh. <laughs> it's a new Transformers video game coming out on the 6th. Video game? Yeah, video game. Video? Yeah. Game. Yes. Is it coming out on the Commodore 128 Com for Butch? Commodore 128. Away! <laughs> Sure, but his is all. He, he has to put up a a a, a, a post-it thing and just flip through it, and you can play that way. I put yep. your quote on my Facebook. But whose quote on your Facebook? Yours. Mine. Yep. Which quote? The one about pizza. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But the game is done in the old in the old eighties cartoon style. This is gonna be awesome. I'm out of vodka, I'll be right back. Alright. In that case, Joe <laughs> What are you geeking on? Because oh, I, I got all just sorts left. Of geek stuff. 
In the mail, I got a copy of May, a graphic novel by Gene Ha. He did like a Kickstarter oh. for it, and he's it looks gorgeous. He finally uh, got him in the mail. I got a bunch of cool premiums with him. And uh, if you're in Chicago, well, probably after this cons, this podcast here gets uh, butchered. Not you, Butch. Just, no, yeah. Butchered. Uh, he's doing like a, a what do you call? I don't know what you call it. Opening party. Yes, release, an opening party. Release party. Yeah, a book opening party. Because I don't want to open this one, otherwise it won't be missed. No. Off of eBay, I picked up a uh, Supergirl, actually it's Superman 32, but it it was a sketch cover. It was done by British artist Gary Parkin, and he sells it through his on. He sells tons of this stuff through Underglow Art, his online shop. And if you're interested in like picking one up, you can just go to eBay and check it out. He'll probably do commissions too. I mean, he does not just superheroes, but he's done some really cool stuff like with X Files, Star Wars, any other property you can think of. Uh, still cranking away on my eBay site. Crazy if you're looking at something. If you win anything, let me know. I'll get you something for free. And uh, the show I was digging last week, uh, I really dug the new Muppets. Did you get a chance to see I that? I watched the new Muppets. Yes, I did. I, yeah, I was going to say, we went through that with Wolfie. Right, Wolfie? Even Wolfie wouldn't have gone there. That's what this whole show has been hey, about. Hey, well, I pretty much go everywhere. I mean, other than Falcon, the comic book show, One Day Wonder, mm-hmm. Monet Action, 100. Et cetera, et cetera. Guest creators, yeah, yeah, yeah. October 10th, MCBA, Comic Cons.com events, tickets, yeah, October yeah, yeah. 10th. Money! This year, 100. 2015. Not 215. No, well, How you that doing, was Wolfie? Uh, earlier. You are wonderful. Well, back with Wolfie, what are, what are you geeking on? Wait, am I geeking on? What are you geeking, geeking on? on? What's got Wolfie? you happier than a clam and a clam bake? That Jen said. I can't remember the words she was saying now. What was I saying? <laughs> I didn't know. What word were you saying? I was saying Wolfie. Yeah, ooh. Say it again. Got you geeking? Wolfie. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Slower. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. That hey, leads us to Butch. What am I? Butch. Geeking on. Butch, what are you geeking how, on? How are you doing? I, I can't say what I'm geeking on because then I'd be thrown off the podcast. <laughs> but now you're safe. I, I'm safe now? You're safe. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, my keys are sticky. All right, all <laughs> right. What are you freaking on? A lot of people cry when they chop onions. The trick is not to form an emotional bond. <laughs> Easy for you to say. One day I'm going to go to your basement and find your terrible joke book and burn it. <laughs> <laughs> That joke book is called the Internet. Yes, interwebs. Yes. I'm gonna burn it all down. So, Butch, what are you geeking on? I'm throwing it to you. What are you geeking on, Butch? Do you know why I'm pulling you over? That was the words I heard this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're geeking on this? Oh, please continue. <laughs> oh, I don't understand the concept, but. I, uh, She's a sexy lady that gets out of tickets. You remember, you remember how much I hated that blood moon, don't you? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, well, I, I get, apparently this is what I'm geeking on. Yeah, I got pulled over today for the first time in about 15 years, and I had a tail light out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my nice tail. Yeah, the, not a tail light out. The brake light was out. It was in the middle of the day, so it was nobody's business where my tail light. I wasn't was planning out. on braking. What's the problem? But I did, and I got caught. And uh, the officer was very nice about it. And uh, now I just got, I have to put a bulb in there, and everything. You will just be get a warning. Not even said okay. Just letting you know that lights out. Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> a life and legend of Wyatt. I just want to let you know, uh, your tail lights out, and um, may, maybe you want to fix it. I, I don't know. You, yeah, know, if you, you don't have to, to, but I'm like, it'd be really uh, great if, I, if you did. Yeah, you really don't have to. I'll just pull you over again next time. <laughs> hey, Wolfie. So the police aren't all bad. <laughs> the popo. <laughs> the popo. <laughs> Didn't you popo? want me to popo? The popo. The police. Yep. Meanwhile, Corey's no. playing Handcuffs. with the CD Princess Scarlet makeup kit. 
Why did Stephanie like the comment about me sounding like pizza? <laughs> I like it. How do you they sound don't even like... know that that's like, it's like dirty. Are you going to play my music again at the end of this one? <laughs> if you ask, well, you do you hear one my music? I do what I'm told. <clears throat> That's all this podcast is now. I just do what I'm well, told. Well, I think before this here podcast ends, we should mention one more time the Midwest Comic Book Association Fall Comic Con. October 10th, 2015, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. He's doing a voice. The One Day Wonder. <laughs> 480 minutes of extreme comic book action. Over 100 yeah. guest creators with a huge variety of comics and collectibles, collectibles. and dealers. Yeah. Admission will be $8 per person with $1 off with a food shelf donation. Ages 9 and under are free. free. This will be held at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds Education Building in St. Paul. Paul. Go to www.mcbacomiccons.com. Advanced tickets on sale now. No. And by the time this here podcast drops, you will have one, two, three, four, five days before Fall Con, Comic Con, the One Day, one day Wonder, wonder. 400 minutes of extreme comic book action, Which? October 10th, 2015, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. <laughs> at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds Education Building. Hey, I'm glad nobody asked guest me beaters, a huge variety show. of comics and collectible dealers, admission $8 per person with $1 off for a food shelf donation hey, age 9 and under free go Blitch. to www.mcbacomiccons.com advanced yeah, tickets on sale now for what? Blitch? yes sir nobody what? asked me what I'm geeking on but that's okay because I don't have anything fit for public consumption you had vodka I'm you almost were... out Whoa. okay what what were you holding on Joe that made his voice that strange <laughs> <clears throat> Wolfie? Yeah, Butch. Yeah? Get your mind out of the gutter. Oh, yeah, oh, that's oh, where his hand is. Get your mind out of the gutter. I can't get my mind out of the gutter. I'm not that high. <laughs> and just in case you're <laughs> not, sewer. if you are not nice. in to the Minnesota Comic Book Association Fall Con, Fall no, Comic Con, which Monday I'm not, Wonder Party on October 10th, 2015, you can also comics. go to the Minnesota Harvest Horse Show. Ooh, this comic show starts to sound a lot better. Or, down the block, the YMCA Garage Sale, which its yeah. last day will be on the 10th. They usually do a good job. What does YMCA stand for? Uh, young mechanics come every day. And you can know, see I'm all sure. the village, the people in the village there. The hey. Twin Cities Oktoberfest will be held at the Progress Center. What? So that... Hey, what? Why, we'll take up a if lot they're of listening to this podcast, why there. wouldn't they be at the Minnesota Fall Con? And at the Grandstand, the Midwest Home M- Show. M-N-B-C-A. Home Show. So if Comic Comics ain't your deal, well, they've got the, plenty of things to do. If you're listening to, to the wrong podcast. Parking will be free, but it'll be tight. Hi, Wolfie. Hi. Hi, Hi Jen. How are you? Way it'll lay it out there for the non comic fans. Yes. I'm bringing you vodka. So you may actually have pizza. Oily pizza. Oily pizza. Yes. Oily pizza. Oily pizza. Coming up on the schedule is the Midwest Comic Book Association. I like how Corey's completely dropped out of this. Could you three please go away and leave me and Jen alone? I think we have some things to do. I like the puppet. Over 100 guest creators, huge variety of comics and collectible dealers. Admission I think somebody broke with Joe. one dollar off for a food shelf donation. <laughs> Ages nine and under are free. If you want, go to www.mcbacomiccons.com. Advanced tickets on sale now. You're listening to KOMA. Hey, Butch, what you doing on October 10th? Why, I don't know. What are you doing? Well, let's go to Fall <laughs> Comic Con. <laughs> it's a one-day wonder of a 480 minutes of extreme comic book action. <laughs> Guess where it is? It's at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds Education Building. Education Building? There'll be over 100 guest creators, huge variety of comics and collectibles, and only $8 to get in. But if you bring a can of food, they'll take a dollar off for you. You're not nine or under, are you? Oofa, oofa, oofa. No, then you can't get in free. <laughs> www.mcba.comiccons.com for you fancy people to get advanced tickets. We'll see you there. Slide you whistle. You should. <laughs>
<laughs> you should have sent me the script so I could read my version because I can't remember all that. <laughs> <laughs> What my wife hates about us doing these podcasts here, you and I are loud. You yeah. hear you screaming yeah. from the basement. I'm, I'm very ashamed. Yeah. I expect to get something thrown at me. Corey, do you got enough material to make a podcast? I mean, we've given you one minute and 16, no, actually one hour, 16 minutes of pure gold. Well, one minute. One eighteen. I was here before you. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> I, I'm I'm still trying to gather up some cookies. He held out as long. I as want cookies. I want cookies. The amazing some car of the Beatles. Shit. Butch, let's I'll go get, get cookies. I'll get right. cookies. We're out of here. And oh, I'm sorry, Corey. Pigeons music. The... Hello and welcome once again. <laughs> it's easy when your pants. Should are I say it? Or are we done? Since the days of the first settlers, Americans have helped each other when sickness and trouble came. Today we help through taxes and contributions to support health and welfare services in our communities so that anyone, rich or poor, can have them available at any time. That Super Bowl 1958. Wait, is it my turn? Yes. Yeah, now you now we hit your music. Hit my music, boys.